Because of all the information we've had over the last few years uh, on ground beef from grass-fed cattle and uh, pat grain-fed to choice or grain-fed to uh, super choice, like in the, the uh, Japanese cattle, we were able to make comparisons uh, across those different uh, production styles uh, as to the comp fat acid composition of ground beef that we produce from them. And if you look at, um, say, uh, you know, Akushi or Wagyu, the, the Asian ground beef from the Wagyu type cattle or Kobe style um, would be the, uh, from Japan. And that's what I think a lot of people are familiar with the term Kobe. And uh, Akushi is just the red Wagyu and they, they're very similar in composition. Uh, and what you see in ground beef or all, all muscle foods from those animals is that they're very high in oleic acid and so that a ground beef patty might have you know, a quarter pounder might have 14 grams of oleic acid in it and uh, much less saturated fat and much less trans fat. You know, beef is a n natural source of trans fat. The rumen does make trans fat. And there's research going on, is this good trans fat or is it bad trans fat? So right now we're still working on that. But uh, we actually measured, tried to measure trans fat in samples from Japanese cattle while I was in Australia and they had no detectable trans fat. And this is a rumen thing, it's really weird. So um, they, uh, it was really unusual. Really high oleic acid, low in saturated fat, zero trans fat. Well, we tend to see that in, if you take a, a Wagyu ground, ground beef patty or Akaushi, that high oleic acid, low trans fat, and lower saturated fat. At the other extreme is um, if you, if you take cattle, and we have some data from uh, Angus cattle, they're actually fed to choice on nothing but pasture. So these were older cattle. And so at one extreme, we had 14 grams of oleic acid per, per patty, only six grams of oleic acid per patty in the grass-fed uh, cattle. And then um, you know, something on the order of 15 grams of saturated fat. So it really flips. Grass feeding doesn't allow the enzymes, the enzyme that makes oleic acid to have any activity. We don't promote that. And so you wind up with a lot of saturated fat and very little oleic acid.